Okay, we are second last week of January and we are seed starting. Today I'm going to plant onions. The variety I'm planting is the Calaceae onions. I know I won't shut up about them, but I love them. And I do start them here and now in January. You wait too long, they tend to not get very big. So with these smaller cell sizes and any of these kind of push variety, potting soil starter things, you really do want to make sure you're using a seed starting mix. And that seed starting mix, you want to have very little to no objects. That means very little to no perlite, very little to no sticks, very little to no whatever the heck comes in potting soil nowadays. So seed starting mixes are the safest mix to go with because they are usually pre-sifted and pretty minimal in what they do have in regards to compost and additives. Now what I'm using is reusing potting soil. I have way too much potting soil and you couldn't pay me to go buy a seed starting mix this year. I need to use what I have so I can kind of unclog closets that are full of junk at this point. So what I am gonna do is I'm going to reuse a potting soil vermicast mix. It's just my vermicast from the basement. Because I have so much plant debris in this, because I'm reusing potting soil and vermicast, I am going to manually pack this. If you're using a seed starting mix, so long as it's pretty wet, you should be just fine. You probably don't need to manually pack. The reason why I manually pack, in particular in this case, is because you want next to no airspace. Airspace causes air pruning, and when we're talking about a small space like this and a vulnerable seed seedling, we don't want air pruning of our roots to take place. So to prevent that, we reduce the air spaces, and that means no perlite, no pumice, no plant debris. If you have plant debris, pumice, and perlite, you really want to make sure you pack in so you have even less airspace whenever possible. These are such little separate individual squares. To be honest, they already have a lot of air, so you don't have to worry about root rot and that sort of stuff with these in particular. Uh, same with the jiffies, you don't have to. Bottom watering works just fine. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. When I place these on the container, I push on the metal kind of U and then I push down at the same time. You want this to be compact. The best way to achieve that is to push down while pulling up and that goes for all these seed blockers. From there, you're gonna simply add your seeds, one per cell in this case of onions, one per cell generally when you're talking about cells this tiny and then I don't cover them with potting soil. I cover mine with vermiculite. I've done several reels about this on Instagram. I've done several, several videos about this, but vermiculite, it's not antifungal per se, but it just helps with airflow along the soil interface, which ultimately helps prevent the white mold we classically see when using organic material in our potting soil systems, uh, such as peat or coconut choir. So to prevent against that fungal growth, which can hurt or harm or diminish the results we like to see, we want to place vermiculite on the surface, a nice thick layer. You can't really overdo it again because it is so much airflow. It also helps with moisture retention, which will help with our seeds germination. I'm gonna put a humidity tome on top of these bad boys and then I will put them under a grow light and the grow light will be on for 12 hours, off for 12 hours, and I will check on them every once in a while. Again, bottom watering. No fertilizer, no uh, special cases where I need to use, for example, a heat mat. I kind of let them just do their own thing. I will plant this entire package because I like to kind of move onions in and around all over my yard. These Calaceas do preserve pretty darn nicely, although very few of them make it to preservation because we can start harvesting and using them really nice and early in the season because of how quickly and how big they grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video on what I'm gonna do with my onions and how I'm going to seed them using this gizmo. If you're concerned about using soil blockers and you're convinced that cells are still the way to go, which I do use those. I also use Jiffy Pods when I want. I'm kind of all over the map. But if you are dedicated to these, let me know. If you are anti these, let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.